Wait, I have until the end of October to lock my cash into a guaranteed 9.62% rate of return? That's amazing. I'm in, tell me more. Hey guys, I'm Sean with The Modest Wallet. You heard that right, 9.62%. Let's talk about iBonds, what they are, how they work, how to buy them, as well as the pros and cons. If you're still wondering what iBonds are and if this is actually legit, I was in the same boat a few months ago. In a boat? It's true. Soaring inflation has pushed the annualized interest rate of the I-bond to a record-setting 9.62% until the end of October. So what are I-bonds? I-bonds, the I standing for inflation, are treasury bonds that pay a fixed rate of interest as well as another layer of interest that varies with the current inflation rate as measured by the Consumer Price Index. I-bonds are a U.S. savings bond issued by the Treasury Department that are specifically designed to keep inflation from eating away at the buying power of your money. I-bonds are designed to offer all Americans a way to save that protects the purchasing power of their investments while assuring them a real rate of return over and above inflation. I-bonds offer a safe place to really store your hard-earned cash. This is a safe place. And it's shielded from the volatility of the stock market and rapidly rising consumer prices, which by the way, eat away at the value of your money you might have put away in a traditional savings account. That's all good and well, but what good are they if you don't know how to buy them? So. Let's go over two ways that you can buy I-bonds. The first way is the way that I would recommend because the second way gets a little messy. Step one, open an online treasury direct account. The only way to do this is by going online at treasurydirect.gov. On the website's homepage, select open an account. On the right hand side, you should see it there. Be sure to choose a treasury direct account not a Fed Invest or an SLG safe account. After you follow the prompts on the Treasury Direct site, you will then need to provide the following pieces of information. First and last name, date of birth, residential address, tax ID number or social security number, name of the bank that you wanna to link to your Treasury account, the bank routing and account numbers. Next is step two, which is to log in to your Treasury Direct account. Once your account is fully set up, Treasury Direct will send you an automated email with your account number. This account number acts as a username, so make sure you don't lose it or forget it. After receiving your Treasury Direct account number, Return to Treasury Direct website and use it to log in. If it's the first time logging into your computer, smartphone, or other device, you will also need an OTP, a one-time password. Now this will come via email after you've inputted your account information. Finally, step three, buy your I-bonds. Now that you're able to open an online account with the Treasury Department and log in without any issues, you can then buy I-bonds fairly easily. From your account dashboard, select the Buy Direct tab at the top of the page and choose Series I under the Savings Bonds section. After that, simply follow the prompts to purchase the amount you want. Now, we'll cover this much more uh, in the future of this video, but bear in mind that you have a $10,000 digital I-bonds purchase limit each year. For each transaction, you'll need to purchase at least $25 worth. After that amount, you can specify it down to the penny. Then you're just gonna click Submit once you've put in the correct amount, and by default, the transaction will go through the same day. You can also schedule repeat purchases weekly, bi-weekly, monthly, quarterly, and so on. The site lets you schedule purchases on any date of your choosing as well. So again, just be sure your annual total doesn't exceed $10,000. When you submit your purchase, you should receive an email confirmation. Shortly after, your I-bond value will display in the current holding section of your account. That's it, you just bought your I-bonds. Now, of course, you may have heard me talk about the other way to buy I-bonds, which is through paper I-bonds. Now, to buy paper I-bonds, you must fill out IRS Form 8888 
to elect part or all of your refund money to go towards buying that I-bond. Now, of course, you can put up to $5,000 and it has to be in multiples of 50. So for example, you could put 50, 100, 150, 200, and so on. Now the paper I-bond purchasing limit is in addition to the digital I-bond limit. Now theoretically, you can buy up to $15,000 worth of I-bonds per year, assuming your tax refund is at least $5,000. According to the Treasury Department, if you aren't getting a tax refund, you can't purchase paper I-bonds. Now, additionally, the Treasury Department says that if an error on your tax return lowers, your estimated refund, your I-bond purchase will be canceled. But if the error increases your refund, your purchase will still go through. Your paper I-bonds will arrive in the mail likely several weeks after you file your taxes to the IRS. After the IRS processes your tax return and submits your payment to the Treasury Retail Security sites in Minneapolis, you should receive your paper I-bonds three weeks later. Now that we talked about those two ways to buy I-bonds, let's take a look at whether or not buying I-bonds is a good investment. I-bonds are one of the safest investments you can make, but that doesn't mean that it doesn't come with some risks. With inflation as high as it is, many investors are flocking to them for a safe place to park their cash. I-bonds offer tax perks. Interest earned from I-bonds is exempt from state and local taxes, and you will only pay federal taxes on the interest when you cash them out. If you are choosing to use the cash for qualified education expenses, maybe tuition and fees for most colleges, universities, or vocational schools, you can escape paying federal taxes as well. Now, as I mentioned before, you are limited to how much you can invest annually. $10,000 per person for electronic I-bonds and $5,000 worth of paper I-bonds. So with that said, if you're looking to really, you know, grow your wealth, you are sort of limited there. Experts recommend I-bonds as a great way for looking to use them to hedge against inflation. And that is exactly what they were designed for. So if that is you, then I-bonds are absolutely a great investment for you. Now let's look at some pros and cons of I-bonds. First, the pros. So we'll start with the impressive variable interest rate, 9.62% currently is amazing. The second pro is that it's a great hedge to protect savings against inflation. Interest is exempt from state and local taxes. Interest is completely exempt if using towards higher education expenses. I-bonds are fairly liquid, meaning you can get it out rather easily if needed, and it is backed by full faith of the US government. Now for the cons. First con is that there is an annual purchase limit of $15,000 per individual, $5,000 of which is only purchasable with your tax refund. I-bonds cannot be cashed out within one year. There is a three month interest penalty for cashing out within five years. It's not as liquid as a regular savings account and you must open an account with treasurydirect.gov. So the big question you might be asking yourself now is should I buy I-bonds right now? Now, ultimately that's up to you and your own discretion. But if you've got cash around, using an I-bond is most certainly going to beat a savings account interest rate. The interest rate will stay at 9.62% until the first business day of November. On that day, the Treasury Department will announce a new rate based on inflation and possibly set a new fixed rate. Because of the unique way interest rates work on I-bonds, if you buy one anytime between now and November, you will lock in a full six months of 9.62% interest. And that is guaranteed. Then your interest will compound, be added to your bond's principal value, and then your rate will change to the new rate that's announced in November. Just so you're clear, if you were to buy I-bonds in September, you would guarantee that 9.62% rate for six months or through February, 2023. So if inflation is eating away at your buying power, I-bonds are looking like a pretty good deal right now. Thank you so much for checking out our video. I plan on going into much more detail about how to buy I-bonds as well as comparing them to tips. If you found value at all in this video, please do me a favor and smash that like button, 
Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you in the next video.